you watch my videos, then you know that I do a lot with soft robotics. Mostly different types of actuators and whatnot. Today, though, I have a different project that's more of an application of soft robotics. I present the soft robotic insole. The concept for this is simple. By using air and a flexible material, like EcoFlex in this case, you get a super soft insole that provides support around the foot when inflated. Now, this is by no means very practical, but it's a good representation of the applications of soft robotics. But I have been wearing them in my shoes for the past few weeks, and let's just say they're very comfortable. Let's dive in. You'll need one zip tie, EcoFlex 30 silicone, some 1 8 inch tubing, a can of Plasti Dip, either a one way valve or a three way manual valve, and a shoe to install the insole in, or two if you want to make two. You'll need a cup, spoon, scoop for mixing silicone, and a drill with a 5 16 inch bit, a small flathead screwdriver, and a pair of scissors or flush snips, and some way to supply air. This can be a syringe, squeeze bulb, or air compressor, or whatever other system you have. Start off building it by modifying the design files to the size of the inside of your shoe. To figure out how to scale it, measure the width and length of your existing shoe insoles from the middle. Add 11 millimeters to both numbers. Use the non-uniform scaling tool in 123D to get both molds to be those dimensions. This will take some trial and error. Next, print those molds. I recommend three shells and 5% infill. Once they're printed, Mix up a large amount of silicone and pour it into the molds. Fill the mold with the air channels all the way up, but only fill the other mold halfway. Let both cure for four hours. Carefully pull the cast out of the mold that you fully filled up. Then mix up a small amount of silicone and spread that amount over the half filled mold. This should only be about a millimeter high. Now plop the cast that you just and demold it onto that. Let that cure for another four hours. Demold the whole insole now and trim any flash. Use the small flat head to open the opening in the back of the insole. This should open up the whole air chamber system. If any of the air channels are clogged, then you will unfortunately have to restart. But this has only happened to me once. Take the flat head and punch two slits on either side about five millimeters from the central air channel that's in the insole. Insert the 1 8 inch tubing into the opening and make sure that about an inch of it is inside. Push the tail of the zip tie through each slit and tighten. Tuck the lock of the zip tie into one of the slits. Connect whichever valve you're using to the other end of the tubing. Time to test it now. Connect your air source to the input of the valve and inflate. If all goes well, the pocket should bulge. Keep it inflated and take your Plasti Dip and give the top of the insole a thick coating. Let it cure for about 30 minutes. Take the drill with the 5 16 inch bit and drill a hole in the back of the shoe. Now to put the insole into the shoe. Take off the valve and push the other end of the 1 8 inch tubing through the hole in the shoe from the inside. Tuck the whole insole into the shoe now. This may take some wiggling around to get this right. Trim the tubing if needed and reattach the valve. At this point, it's basically done. Put the shoe, inflate it, try it out. Feels like walking on jello. As always, I will have the instructables guide for this in the description. Also, from now on, I will be posting my projects on hackaday.io, so also check out that link. If you like this video, then you know what to do. If you want to follow my work, hit that subscribe button. XYZ Aiden, out.